having put his heart and soul into his Unamiyoki Japanese pancake stall at Tambo Plus East Side, 39 year old Boon was set to learn of the venue's November 26 closure, especially since his was a pioneer stall there. After more than two years at the Singapore Expo in Chinji, the live music and eating venue is going to close after Tambo Group announced the decision in a Facebook post on October 31. Boon, who asked that his full name not be published, is among numerous stall owners set to bid farewell to Tambor Plus East Side. Some will move elsewhere, while others will close their business for good. Mr. Boon, who owns Ajia Omnamiyoki, is looking to take a break for the time being, but is open to resuming business if he finds a suitable location. We have to accept it and move on. But I will miss meeting different people who come here for events as well as the tenants who have become some of my good friends. Since it opened on November 27 in 2021, Tambor Plus East Side at Singapore Expo has served as a sister venue to its other food hall in One North. Providing a wide variety of food and drinks, with frequent live band performances in the evenings. When today asked Tambor about the closure, it said that it will not be extending its occupancy at Singapore Expo because it has decided to redirect resources towards other upcoming projects, including a new Tambor Plus venue. It also said that it would help to ensure a smooth transition of operations to the incoming operator. The Tambor Group, however, did not disclose if any of the stalls at the East Side venue will be joining its new venue. Singapore Expo, a convention and exhibition centre, echoed Tambor Group's response when approached by Today, stating that the group's intention to redirect resources to other upcoming projects led to its decision not to extend the lease. Before Tambor Plus East Side closes, the venue is holding a farewell event titled Thank You, East Side. Encore Party, which will include five themed nights with 11 live bands. On Friday, November 10, today visited Tambor Plus East Side to find out how stall owners felt about the venue's impending closure. Of 10 stallholders who spoke to today, nine said that they would not be renewing their lease to stay on when the new landlord takes over. They intended to move or close for good. Miss Joey Eyre, 36, an employee at East One Sugar Cane Lock Lock, said, For us, we were not approached by the new landlord to stay, so we decided to take a break first since we don't have plans to move to another place. While she would miss being at Tambor Plus East Side and had had a hand in helping the stall grow into what it is today, Miss Eyre said that the closure presented a timely opportunity for her to further cultivate her business acumen. For Mr. Ng Boon Ho, 56, deciding to stay on with the new landlord, to run his stall, the Rong Guang Kitchen, was not a feasible option due to an increase in rental cost and the low foot traffic. He said that after calculating all the costs, he did not see a way of being able to run the business without losing money. However, despite his decision to leave, Mr. Eng would miss his loyal customers. Even though we may not have known each other long, there is a kind of kinship between the customers and I, especially those who would come from Singapore Expo, he said. Mr. Eng has already secured a space at Changi Airport Terminal 2's new food court due to open early next year. The impending departure from Tambor Plus East Side also gave him the opportunity to work with his son Sebastian Eng, 29, who plans to open a central kitchen with his father and venture into possibly marketing his father's bottled sauce.